this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the things that you might want to do before your Disney trip to have the best experience. I'm Christina. I'm a traveler, a planner, and most importantly, a mom. I'm sharing my best tips to make traveling as a family a little less stressful. So put down your phone, pack your bags, and let's showcase the world. A Walt Disney World trip is very much like going to visit a big city. It's 47 square miles. There's so much to do. It's not just like going to a Six Flags for the day. So there is some pre-planning that goes into it, especially with a lot of the new changes with the My Disney Experience, Fast Pass Plus, um, all sorts of it, the whole My Magic Plus rollout in 2014 changed the way that you visit Walt Disney World. You can't really just show up, get reservations. You can't, the lines are really long if you don't have your fast passes in advance. So you should definitely do some things in advance. Um, if you book your vacation with me, I am a travel advisor and I specialize in Walt Disney World. I will make sure that you have a planning timeline of when you should be doing everything so you don't get overwhelmed. You'll get these things in little drips and drabs. So it will take five minutes here and there to work on some of this instead of sitting down, getting overwhelmed, not knowing where to start. Um, I would love to help you with that. If you do want to schedule a call, make sure you hit the link in my in the description and you can schedule a call and we can talk about your Disney vacation. If you've already booked your Disney vacation but you still want help, I'm gonna to link to a video I did here on how I can help if you've already booked your trip. So um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the things you wanna do. I'll also talk about some of the things that I would do for you if you book your trip with me. So the first thing you wanna do, this is um, after you've booked. So before you book, you're gonna figure out where you wanna stay based on your interest, your budget, and you know some some of the things that you're gonna do if you're gonna spend a lot of time in Magic Kingdom, you're gonna want to stay at a Magic Kingdom area resort. If you spend a lot of time at Epcot, you're gonna want to um, stay at an Epcot area resort. So you kind of want to have an overarching idea of what you want to spend time doing before you make your booking, and that's something I'll help you with before we book anything. But once you have your resort, you have your reservation booked, everything ready to go, then you're gonna start wanting to think about what parks you want to go on what day. There are some crowd calendars out there, but I don't feel like they're super, super accurate anymore. Um, and I feel like a lot of the more popular ones, um, they'll say that the park levels are low, but maybe because they've done that, then uh, a lot of people will go there on that day. So basically you want to take advantage, figure out if you want to take advantage of early morning magic, um, if you want to take advantage of after hours, which are ticketed events that you can purchase um, to get you access to the park, or if you want to take advantage of extra magic hours, which are free for resort guests. So there's a lot of different things going on. You want to figure out what hours the park has, where you want to be. I like to start in the Magic Kingdom. I don't like to go to Epcot on weekends. I like to end in the Magic Kingdom. Um, and I like to go usually to, I take advantage of the extra magic hours at Animal Kingdom in the morning because I feel like you can get a ton there. Um, whereas the extra magic hour in Hollywood Studios, I don't feel is super beneficial. So I don't really use that one. That's something I will totally help you figure out. I will recommend what park you go to on what day um, based on what your interests are. If you have young kids, you should spend some extra time in the Magic Kingdom. I do love Epcot for young kids. I'll do a link to my video here on why you shouldn't skip, skip Epcot with young kids. I actually think you should skip Hollywood Studios with young kids, but I'll do the link there for why you shouldn't skip skip up to Epcot and based on what you're interested in we'll make those park selections then we'll decide your dining based on where you're going to be if you're going to be in Magic Kingdom we're not going to make your your um, reservation at Epcot unless you're park hopping you have a park hopper pass and that's what you want to do so um and we don't want to be park hopping a ton we don't want to be in Magic Kingdom in the morning Hollywood Studios for lunch and Epcot for dinner because you're going to spend your whole time getting from place to place and eating so you're not going to get to really experience the parks so we'll make your dining recommendations based on where you're going to be, what your interests are. If you did book your vacation with me, then I'm going to send you a quick little three question um, form. You're going to fill that out. I'll make my dining recommendations based on that. And we'll get those reservations. I will book those reservations for you. 
Then I also want you to do a little um, research into other activities that are available. I mentioned um, early morning magic. I mentioned after hours. There's also dessert parties. There's Bippity Boppity Boutique, which you may have heard of um, with princess makeovers, there's tea parties, there's fishing, there's all sorts of activities. I'll do a link to the video here, um, but I'll send you a quick guide as to what I think you'll like. But I do want you to do some some looking into what's going on um, other places on property that you think your family might really, really enjoy. And we'll get those booked for you. So while you are doing that little bit of research, I'm going to be doing a cost analysis of the dining plan for you. I don't like to add the dining plan right up front when you're booking because it might not be a good value for you. That's one of the places you'll see me differ from other travel agents because we do make commission on the dining plan. So a lot of travel agents are going to want to add it so that they can beef up their, their check right? But the dining plan is not always a good value for you or your family. So I want to make sure based on where you're going to eat that you're going to end up getting what you need to out of the dining plan. Maybe it is a cost savings. Sometimes it is a cost savings. Maybe it's the added value of prepaying in advance and you don't care about the cost savings. So it's not for everybody if you're going to, um, if you don't really sit down a whole lot. The quick service dining plan is not usually a great value, but you'll be able to see like this is where you're going to eat. This is where I'm I'm going to eat. Um, and this is what the dining plan is going to cost. This is what I'm going to pay if I don't use a dining plan. So you can make that decision. I'm not pushing it on you. Um, another thing I want you to do this early, we're about six months in advance now, is I want you to start collecting gift cards. If you have a Target red card, you can save 5% on your gift cards. And you know, saving 5% on your Disney vacation can definitely add up. So every time you go to Target to get toilet paper, then pick up a gift card, get your 5% off, stop at the dollar stop, um, see if they have any, you know, Disney hand sanitizers, Disney activity books for the plane. There could be some really, really fun things there that as you're picking up, you know, toiletry items on sale, the travel items on sale, somehow, I. <laughs> always seems that people are running out the night before their trip to get all their toiletry items. And you know, that used to be me. Used to be me, but now every time I go, I'll pick up something that I know I'm out of or something that's on sale so that I have it when I'm ready to pack. If you wanna have custom shirts made, then you want to make sure you're ordering those in advance. I do have some vendors I work with that I do have a discount code for that I will send to um, my travelers in, in their weekly emails. I do send weekly emails with tips and tricks and um, trying to save you from having to research. Some of the stuff is important and will be marked in the subject line. And um, if, if I need a response, so that will also be marked in the subject line. So if you have time, you can look through some of the research and tips and tricks that I send. If you don't have time to read an email um, every week, then you know the ones that I need responses to um, quickly because it will be right in the subject line. So one of the things I will send is some of the items that you should be picking up on those errands, some of the small shops that I love for custom shirts, and some discount codes I have from Disney themed shops as well. About after you book your dining is usually when I would say you should book your flight. Um, I can do that for you, but um, you can usually find a little bit more flexibility than when I'm packaging it together. So um, we, can, we can talk through that, of course, but booking your flights about four months in advance, you know, you're gonna get the best price eight to 12 weeks in advance, but uh, so cutting in a little close for me. So I like to book about four months in advance, set up your private transportation if you are um, doing that, a rental car, however you're getting to Walt Disney World. Once you book your flights, you're gonna wanna book your transportation from the airport to Walt Disney World. Um, then you should start looking into attractions. The more you look into attractions, the more I'm going to be able to prioritize you. I or you, if you're booking on your own, are able to prioritize what attractions you want to do. You're not going to be able to do all the attractions, I promise you. Um, I've tried to do all of the attractions in a trip and it you just can't, you can't do it if you want to do some of the other things, some of the other experiences. So you want to prioritize what you really want to go on and um, 
being able to do that, you need to know what's available and what you're going to be interested in. I have some guides that I will send over. I have some videos that I've already done. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see those. You'll be the first one to know when those new videos go up. But you want to have some sort of idea of what tractions are available so that we can make your fast passes for the ones that you're going to want to do the most that's going to save you the most amount of time. So I'll use my knowledge of what how the lines build and the crowds move to um, take your list of priority attractions and make fast passes for the ones that's going to save you the most time in line. After your fast passes are made, you're going to want to watch some movies. I'm going to do a video here, like a video here. This is a lot of videos, sorry. I'm going to link a video here to a um, put a link here, oh my goodness, of a video I did on the five movies that you should definitely watch before your trip. Those five movies will not only get you excited for your trip, they'll help you put some things into context as well. If your kids haven't seen them, they'll be able to recognize some of the characters that, um, some of the older movies that you may not have seen. Another thing you should do is break in your shoes. Never, never, never wear new shoes to Walt Disney World. You do a lot of walking. You do a lot more than expected. And if you're wearing new shoes, you're going to tend to blister. So make sure that you are wearing and breaking in your shoes in advance. You know, maybe you can start training if you're not used to walking a lot. Um, there's been some trips where I've done 13 miles a day, which is basically a half marathon. It's a half marathon. It's a half marathon of walking. Um, so breaking in those shoes, making sure you're ready to do some walking. Obviously it's broken up into smaller spurts, but your feet will get sore and will blister if you're wearing new shoes. So break in your shoes if you got new ones. Um, come up with a touring plan. So this is where you're gonna want to assess what you wanna do and come up with a plan. The plan keeps you from getting there and wasting time figuring out what to do next but it's not an itinerary. So this is what I create for my clients and I make sure that it's a plan, it's an order, it's an idea of what is the best way to approach things to save you the most time, not waste any time wondering where things are, what to do next, anything like that. I don't like itineraries that are minute by minute where you're stressed out trying to get from place to place. That is not how you wanna spend your vacation. So go in with a plan, but not an itinerary because things happen, things break down. Um, my plans will have recommendations on alternatives for you as well. It'll let you know, you know, if the monorail's not working, how to get to another alternative for how to get, in, get to where you wanna go. And then start packing. Packing is probably my favorite thing. I love putting together my outfits for my trip. We usually do a theme. Um, I We don't do custom shirts, we don't do the, the t-shirts, but we do Disney bound, which I find is really fun. Um, so dressing inspired by Disney characters. And we'll usually do, um, the three of us, my family will do a theme. So if my daughter is wearing her Cinderella princess dress, then I will probably, I'll wear a, um, fairy godmother color or a lady tremaine color just to make it a little fun my husband will wear a prince charming t-shirt so i love planning our outfits i it, i feel like it's most of the fun of my trip um probably packing for my trip and eating while i'm there are my two favorite things so start packing um i do have some packing lists i do have a um step-by-step -step guide for you with a printable timeline that you can get just by for free just by entering your email um you i'll put that below of course schedule a call if you would like me to do all of this for you send you reminders what you need to do and all sorts of fun stuff along the way thank you so much for joining me remember take a break from the busy Need help planning your next family vacation? Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.